On this episode of DPV, we're installing the Summit 8600 series cam in my AMC 360. Alright, finally back on the AMC motor. It has been a while since I touched this thing. Um, I've got a little bit more cleanup done. Got the uh, front cover all cleaned up here. Went ahead and bought a new water pump. Um, and so now what we're going to do is get this old camshaft out. We get the timing set off. Um, Got to pull all the rockers and push rods off. And uh, we'll get this cam out. And then. We will install the Summit 8600 um, performance camshaft with a new timing set. Um, and that's about where we'll stop this video. Um, in the next AMC video, we will uh, replace the valve springs with these trick flow valve springs. With this bigger cam, you need a little bit um, stronger valve springs to make sure those valves close nice and quick. So um, I'll show you in that next video how to do that without pulling the head. So let's, uh, let's get this camshaft out. try to keep everything in order here so since I'm reusing parts I kind of want them to all go back in the same spot so reusing the rockers and push rods so I got them numbered you know where they go and lay them out there in order I am using new lifters so you know the one the one end of the push rod the lifter end of the push rod is going to be um, that end doesn't matter really where it goes because I'll be running new lifters, but um, where all these rockers are setting and I'm not, I'm not replacing valves and whatnot, so each one of those rockers is worn to um, the, the valve that's, that's already installed, so I want to make sure that they go back, back where they're supposed to. So I just found top dead center. I watched the, the exhaust opened up, then the intake opened up because I saw this lifter pop up. It's on the intake side. That went down, and then on the next turn, this came up to um, to the top. I just put a screwdriver in there to check it. Um, and top dead center is gonna be top end of the stroke on compression. So when both both valves are closed, you're on, on your compression stroke. So should be top dead center or, or close enough for now. Um, so now I'm gonna pull this timing set off.
got that all taken apart. Uh, to me, it looks like it's actually in pretty good shape. But we want more power. This was super loose. The timing chain. Oh man. So. All right. Well, now we'll go ahead and put the new one in. All right. So this is the Summit 8600 series cam, and it is quite a bit bigger than the stock cam. I'm not sure if this one's stock or not. I'm assuming it is. Um, but <clears throat> anyway, it sh it should be good for you know around thousand RPM and up. And uh, and I've got some pretty deep gearing, and I plan to go even deeper with the doubler and stuff. So I think it'll work well. Also got a Summit timing set, so should tighten everything up real well. So the first thing the instructions say to do is we need to uh, clean this cam with some uh, like mineral spirits or whatever. You know, get all the dust off and whatnot. And then we got to lube all the lobes with assembly lube, and then oil all the all the um, bearing journals. So I'm reusing the bearings. This motor actually looked pretty singing clean inside, so I think it'll be all right. Um, when you're pulling the the old cam out, you want to make sure that you're careful not to, you know, bang up those bearings if you're going to reuse them. All right, so the new cam does not appear to come with the little keys, the keyway. So there's two keys, one there, one there. I already popped that one out. This one holds um, the distributor gear. This one holds the timing set gear. And so, looks like so the way I did it was uh, I just tap down on this end with a screwdriver and it'll rotate in that hole. Camera might move a little bit, we'll see how it is. Nice. I think 
just the timing set alone is going to do wonders for this motor. Man, before it probably flex out to here. It was so loose. This is nice and tight. So, oh, and I'm excited for that new cam. All right, I'm going to wrap it up for today. Uh, in the morning, I will, you know, get the front cover on and kind of get it ready for paint. So, see you in the morning. It's morning. Let's get back to it. All right, one thing you definitely don't want to forget to put on this guy. I'm pretty sure it's called the oil slinger and it helps like flip oil onto the chain and stuff. If it's not called that, leave a comment below and tell me what it is. Pretty sure that's what it is. Just So I got the uh, cam installed, new timing set, new water pump, got the front cover all buttoned up. It's looking pretty good. Went ahead and threw a couple coats of paint on it. Um, just used the valve covers and the old intake, uh, you know, to, for masking purposes. Um, so pretty excited. So on the next AMC episode, we're going to be either um, fixing up that intake. Uh, so I want to clean it up, get all this green paint off. Um, kind of want to go with the natural aluminum look. And then there's a baffle, like a tin baffle that goes on the bottom of this. So I need to drill out these rivets here um, pull the tin off the bottom of this and attach it to that one and then also pull off all my little accessories here uh, for throttle cable and backing lines and whatnot get those clean it up, cleaned up and get them on that intake so that'll be coming up and then also um, my father-in-law's got a tool to replace the valve springs without pulling the head. So, got these Trick Flow valve springs. Gotta put a little heavier duty valve springs with that bigger cam. Um, so we'll do that. And then, this thing's ready to button up. Got a lot more parts cleaning to do. I wanna make sure that all the accessories are nice and clean for the front of the motor and get anything painted up that I can. I'm gonna paint the valve covers and the oil pan uh, green eventually I want to go all of drab on the whole Jeep I think that'd be really cool um, but for the for the motor I'm using this uh, gloss Oliver green I couldn't find all of drab in gloss the reason why I want to go gloss on the motor is um, grease and dirt and stuff like that washes off of gloss a gloss finish a lot better a lot easier and if I've ever happened to work on this thing after a wheeling trip um, I want to be able to wash it off easy if I've got to you know pull some stuff off um, and expose the inside of the motor that way I don't get dirt and junk in there so let me let me know what you guys think about that I, I think it's a good idea um, but this isn't exactly all of drab it's the closest I can get in gloss so I hope you like this video if you're interested in supporting the channel, you can buy t-shirts. I got some full-size Jeep t-shirts, some shop shirts, um, and I also got some stickers all down in Teespring. The link's in the description below. You can also buy some tools on Amazon. 
I've got the tools I use um, linked in the description below as well. You can become a Patreon, check that out. And the best way you could support me is just hit that subscribe button. So all the money coming through those various ways is going to help support Alex and I and Total Mayhem Racing get to the Baja 1000 this fall in a trophy truck. If you haven't seen the last Baja episode, I'll put a link right up here. Got to check that out. That trophy truck is rad. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next one.